Hello, my name is Joe McDonald and this is Big Max Battle Blogs. Digging a trench at work and uh, just been shelled, you know, fucking close one. So uh, got my armour on and, uh, you know, uh, just waiting for the next one to come in. So if you're lucky, you might get to hear something exciting uh, in a second. Knowing my luck, they won't even fucking bother to shell me again, inconsiderate bastards. So, yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah. Even with my crappy little uh, speaker, I'm sure you heard that. Oh, just a regular day in Kherson. Nothing, nothing too dramatic. But, uh, yeah, so I wanted to um, sort of uh, catch up with uh, what I said on my last video about, you know, um, people who've, uh, people saying that all, all those foreigners are on big money, you know. Well, I think we put that one to bed, but uh, I just thought I'd give you guys some information about what I've been doing for Ukraine, other than my basic job as a soldier. So... I got to this unit in June, I think, and since then I've put half a million hryvna. Uh, divide that by 46 and you get the figure in pounds, divide it by 40, you get it in euros, dollars, thereabouts. And um, yeah, I've done that out my wages that the army pay us here. So uh, this whole argument that we're all mercenaries and we only come here for the money. Now, no offence to them. Maybe if you're Colombian or Brazilian, the 40 odd thousand US dollars a year you're on is absolutely amazing. But uh, for me, you know, if I wanted to earn that kind of money, I'd have to go all the way back to England and like dig ditches for a builder in London. Do you know what I mean? It's not actually that big. But nevertheless, I've put uh, half a million hryvna into um, into equipment for my unit, mostly drones. Um, I've also collected, I guess it's about 1.2 million hryvna from, um, from you guys. And about a million of that has gone into equipment. So thank you all for donating. Um, there's no end of need for stuff. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, when my friend Voa died the other week, we lost quite a bit of equipment. Um, so, you know, all that needs to be replaced. And a lot of it's consumable. You know, it gets used up. FPVs, for instance, they cost 500 to to $1,000 a pop and one mission and they're gone. Uh, which is still very, very cheap for a, a weapon that can reach out to like 10 kilometers with pinpoint accuracy. <sighs> Another one there. Also, um, since I got here, uh, I've been doing a lot of work with uh, individuals, NGOs, charities, all that kind of stuff. And um, they've, uh, that's brought vehicles and, you know, Brandon, like I got Brandon to come to my unit. So Brandon did all the fundraising and all the prior research to find out what's good equipment and had all these networks with other organisations. But at the end of the day, you know, I brought Brandon to my unit and that put a lot of thermals, night vision, a boat, fucking thousands and thousands of dollars worth of tactical medical stuff on the table. Uh, I've worked with Blau Gabilan, who and, uh, Adam put me in touch with, got a vehicle. Um, bloody, I can't remember the name of the organisation, but Adam all, uh, Brandon also got... Um, worked with another organisation, British organisation, I believe, and they gave us a boat. Um, and yeah, you know, so I think all in all, I've probably put 50, 
thousand ish pounds worth of stuff on the table uh if if you add everything up basically and and, and include brandon and the other people's efforts in that like you know we've got this uh, american donator called tom hello tom if you're watching and uh tom buys the stuff for us gets what we want brings it all to ukraine delivers it to us you know all out of his own pocket he's an absolutely amazing guy and uh yeah mm, no maybe that one blew up in the barrel hope it's killed the crew fuck them um so yeah but uh you know i as there are very very few english speakers here um i do all the kind of um artwork and stuff i do not artwork i do all the um all, all the communications and stuff with with uh non-english speak uh, non-ukrainian speaking organizations charities and individuals so yeah um i i do a lot of work um that is outside of the remit of what the army expect me to do to help the cause here and i don't think that i'm particularly special for that i think a good percentage of foreign volunteers who come to this country are doing stuff like that um and also you know but coming here and getting their own kit and getting their own vehicles and stuff. So, yeah, that's just a, a bit of an update about what I do other than... Other than being a soldier. Fucking getting getting a bit close to these, but I'm in a, I'm in a foxhole right now, so I'm not fucking moving anywhere. Um, uh, anyway, um, I might need to pay more attention to what's going on around me. Uh, at the moment so uh it's goodbye from me joe mcdonald at big max battle blogs and as always to our russian and vatnik listeners and especially the guys who are shelling me right now idina hoiser looper go fuck yourselves russians